on some level, some of the things that Donald Trump said to Bob Woodward don't surprise us. This one made me sick all over again. You know, this this outrages me, but it also just breaks my heart. I, you know, here you have a foreign leader who presided, who sent a hit team to preside over the kidnapping, um, torture, murder and dismemberment of a Washington Post columnist who was a permanent resident of the United States, who then lied about it, who didn't return Jamal's body to his family and still hasn't. Um, and then our president boasts about having defended the person who who ordered that torture, murder, dismemberment. Um, you know, I, I just don't know what to add. But but I also, you know, I also think that Jamal, I mean, Jamal cared deeply about human rights. And he would also note that while he is dead, that uh, that, that MBS is also presiding over a brutal war in Yemen that has left millions of children on the brink of starvation and over the imprisonment of, uh, you know, among others, a Nobel Peace Prize nominee, Lujain al-Hathloul, for defending um, for defending women's rights in Saudi Arabia. It's too late to save Jamal's life. It's not too late to, to save uh, Lujain. So there's there's Jamal's issue. There's there's Mohammed bin Salman, and then there's Donald Trump. Here's what Michael Cohen, his former fixer, told Rachel Maddow on Tuesday. He wants to be an autocrat. He wants to be the president of this country for life. He wants to be just like Putin, just like Kim Jong Un, just like Maduro. He wants to be just like Mohammed bin Salman. Wants to be just like Mohammed bin Salman. I wonder what a brag like that gets you. I don't know why he even told Bob Woodward that, but I don't know who's supposed to be impressed by the idea that he said I covered MBS's ass. Uh, what does that get Donald Trump? What does that tell us about Donald Trump? You know, I think that he's trying to boast to Bob Woodward his, you know, his power that he can defeat Congress. Uh, that he can that that he's the one who matters in foreign policy. But I would just remind the Saudis, if they're watching, that there may well be a change of government. And the Saudis have burned their bridges with uh, Democrats and with Americans as a whole when they murder a Washington Post columnist, when they hold a mock trial, when they uh, brutalize Yemen, and when they imprison and and abuse a Nobel Peace Prize nominee. Um, so, you know. To some degree, Trump is right. He did help. Uh, he did help MBS. But that time may sure. be coming to an end pretty shortly.